Governor, Your Excellency Wavinya Ndeti, Mweshimiwa Kawaya, Rafiki Yangu, Nandugu Yangu, Regional Commissioner, I'm a County Commissioner, Partners Wetu, a Red Cross, na World Vision, MCS Wetu, Ndugu, Nadada, Wamwala, Wamachakos, Hamjambo. Mimi ndiyo msali ya mudavadi. Na leo ni mekujo kujiunga na nyinyi kwa siku hii ambayo ni amana sana. Tuzungumuze kidogo, alafu tutende wajibu wetu wakupayana chakula kwa wale ambacho, wale ambao wanahitaji sana kusaidiwa siku ya leo. Lakini kabla sijaenda hapo, nataka ni kubali kwamba governor wa mwavinye ndeti ni wawoko. Baba yake moja ambaye naitua Nduva, anaishi London, ameowa dada ya mama yangu. Kwa hivyo tuko na uko ambao naingia hapo. Kwa hivyo mimi nikija hapa, mimi nima, najua nimekuja kwa dada yangu na sasa tuende pamoja. Wale ambao wamenena hapa wamenena kwa sababu taifa letu liko kwa hali ya ukamwe, hali ya shida. Na vile Regional Commissioner amewaeleza Madam Roda ni kwamba watu karibu milioni ine wanaumia kutokana na kiangazi ambacho kimeleta tabu kwa binadamu na pia kwa mifugo na hasara nyingi sana inapatikana katika taifa letu kwa sababu ya jangwa hili. Nikisimama hapa kuna mpango ambao umewekwa na serikali ukiongozwa na William Samoi Ruto yeye ameelekea upande wa Turkana kuongoza mpango kama huu kama rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya naibu wake Mheshimiwa Rigathe yuko upande wa Kajado kule Bisil na mimi nimekuja Machakos na wenzetu wengi wameenda katika sehemu tofauti kwa sababu kuna shida katika taifa letu sisi tukisimama hapa watu karibu nusu milioni katika kaunti ya Machakos wako kwa hali ya hatari kwa sababu ya huo ukamwe kwa hivyo tumekuja pamoja tukishirikiana na wenzetu kama World Vision kama shirika la msalaba mwekundu Red Cross tukisema kwamba ni lazima sisi wote tuvute pamoja pia na serikali za county tujaribu kusaidia wananchi pahali popote walipo kwa wakati huu ambao kuna shida ningependa tena kusisitiza kwamba hatujafika mwisho wa jangwa hili wale ambao me, watalamu ambao wamekuwa wakidadisi ama wakitabiri vile mvua itakuja wanatuonyesha kwamba hali hii ya ukosefu wa mvua huenda ikaongezeka hadi paka labda mwezi wa Februari na kwenda zaidi kwa hivyo ni jukumu letu kama wa Kenya na kama serikali kushirikiana haraka na kuweka mipango ambayo itatusaidia ili tupunguze ile shida ambayo itatokana na hali ya ukamwe na wenzetu wamenena kuhusu kujenga mabawa kuhusu kuhakikisha kwamba kuna mbegu ambazo zitapeanwa ambazo zinaweza stehamili ile hali ya ukamwe na pia tuwe na njia ya kuhakikisha kwamba 
logistics za kufikia watu wengi ziko sawa. Hatuwezi tukafanya sisi peke yetu. Ni lazima tushirikiane sehemu zote za kiserikali, county na ya kitaifa na marafiki zetu. Kwa hivyo tutapeana chakula kidogo hapa lakini safari ni ndefu. Na mimi nataka nisisitize kwamba baada ya uchaguzi baada ya uchaguzi shida ziko tuweke mambo ya election nyuma kidogo kwa sababu hata tukiendelea na blame game hatutasaidia sasa mamlaka yamepewa na wananchi kwa wale wako kwa wadhifa mbalimbali so now we must put behind us the blame game because if we engage in the blame game sooner or later the currency of blame game will end and it might end faster than we imagine so we must now move away from the blame game to service delivery and support for the people of Kenya from wherever we sit hiyo ndio message ambayo mimi nataka nisisitize rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya mwezi huu atakuwa akiwakilisha taifa letu katika kongamano kubwa la kitaifa kule Egypt kuhusu mambo ya climate change kwa sababu hali ya anga ulimwenguni imeanza kubadilika sana na tusipochunga kama binadamu tutakuwa na shida kwa sababu climate change ndio inafanya tuko hapa sasa kwa mambo ambayo ni ya intervention rais ametangaza kwamba anataka katika muhula yake wa kwanza na wa pili tukimaliza tuwe tumepanda katika Kenya hii mabilioni na mabilioni za miti na mimi nimefurahi kwamba hapa mumetangaza kwamba hiyo program pia mtakuwa nayo tuhakikishe kwamba hiyo environmental conservation ambayo imetangazwa tuhusike tupande miti tusikate miti kiholela na ndugu yangu mwala wewe kama mwenyekiti wa energy committee hiyo ni en kamati ya muhimu sana tunataka pia tujiulize ni kwa nini mwananchi anakata miti anakata miti kwa sababu anatafuta energy anatafuta fuel ya kupika chakula sasa kwa huo utaratibu wa sola wakati tunaweka sola ya kufanya pumping ya maji tutafute mbinu ya kuhakikisha kwamba pia katika hali ya cooking we can come up very rapidly and a lot of people have already started doing that we find a way of making sure through legislation and even where necessary through interventions of dealing with taxation obstacles to hakikisha kwamba even for cooking the ordinary household can have proper solar cooking facilities ili wawacha kukata miti watumie jua kupika chakula na haya yote yatawezekana ikiwa tutashirikiana pamoja tuweke tuzungumuze tujadiliane na tuwe na sera ambazo zinalenga mwananchi hilo ndio jukumu letu nataka tena niseme kwamba mimi governor nimewahi mara nyingi sana kupita kwa ndege nikifata hiyo mto athi ukianzia nairobi the river is black kama hii microphone mimi nazungumza nayo ukiwa juu unaona ni nyeusi ukikuja chini Unaonza, unaona kwamba inaanza kukua green 
So it is a very serious issue. Very serious. And I can tell you that the government is looking very seriously on a serious program. Ambayo itakuwa chini ya deputy president kwa kikisha kwamba the cleaning of Nairobi River is an urgent issue on the agenda. The rivers of Nairobi zile zinakuja alafu zinamwaga unakuwa athi athi river. Ni lazima there is a concerted and deliberate effort and urgent one. And we are appealing even to the international community kwamba we must clean Nairobi River. We must clean it. Once we clean them, Earth River will become clean. And also, the people who are discharging, zile factories and buses in a discharge, uchafu, nasumu, kuhaya maji. It is going to be very expensive and punitive very soon if they don't stop that habit. Kwa sababu, maisha ya watu yako hara kwa hali hatari, ya hatari, maisha ya mifugo na kadhalika. Ule ugonjwa wa kansa ama saratani ambao wavinya mezumuzia ni ugonjwa ambao na shida nyingi sana. Saratani ikiingia kwa boma lako. Saratani ikiingia kwa boma lako. Basi umaskini umaingia. It is a very expensive disease. And it can wipe out the investments of a family when they are treating their loved ones against the disease of cancer. Kwa hivyo, ni lazima sisi wote tushirikiane tuwakikishe mambo ya takuwa sawa. Nikimalizia, nataka tuni wakikishie kwamba William Samoy Ruto ni rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Hata bagua, serikali yake haita bagua, ati nani alitupigia kura, ama nani haku tupigia kura. Ukweli wa mambo, kila mukenya analipa ushuru. Na kila mukenya ni lazima ahudumiwe. Nafasi yake ya kidemokrasia ya kuchagua kiongozi ambayo nataka, itakuja baada ya kila miaka mitano. Na mimi nataka ni wakikishie kwamba sisi katika serikali ya Kenya kwanza ni wangwana. Hatuta kuwa na tabia ya kutumia nguvu za serikali kushurutisha watu na kuwaweka kwa kona kuwalazimisha lazima wawe kwa murengo fulani wa serikali. Hiyo mambo tunataka ikome katika Kenya hii watu wawe huru wachague viongozi wao vile wanavyotaka na wawachane na mambo ya kusema serikali itachukumia nguvu za kibavu kimabavu kuwalazimisha wawe na mrengo fulani we want that to be the past tunataka tutoke pale kwa hivyo mimi nataka niambie governor wa Vinyandeti we shall work together tutafanya kazi pamoja mwala here knows very well ye ni Kenya kwanza we shall work together Hatutakuwa na ubaguzi, tunataka wa Kenya wote wasonge mbele, tusaidie watoto wetu kwa mashule na programs ambazo mko nazo za kuweka chakula kwa mashule na kadhalika zitakuwa za muhimu sana because that is how we are going to help in transiting from this very difficult time of drought and hunger. Kwa hivyo nitawaachia hapo ili nisizungumze sana na mheshimiwa wa Vinya Ambia ndugu yangu Kalonzo, uh, asante sana. Kwa salamu zake. Uh, we, we, we appreciate. Yeye ni rafiki yangu. Yeye ni ndugu yangu. Uh, siasa ni namna hiyo. Lakini sisi wote ni nini? Ni wa Kenya. Na tuendele mbele, tufanya kazi kama taifa mbalo linataka kila muta wewe pamoja. Kwa mambo ya usalama, Na shukuru sana kusikia vile governor mesema kwamba katika eneo hii e, kuna ushirikiano mzuri sana kati ya security wote na government agencies zote na wananchi na security kwa kwa hali ambayo 
uh, ni sawa kwa wa Kenya. That is very good and we thank you for it. Kwa hivyo nadhani tumemaliza hapo. Sitaongea regional governor thank you for giving us that st those statistics zinaonyesha the situation is serious. I hope the members of the media the fourth estate you will pick up those that data. Those statistics are very crucial in helping people understand that we are facing a crisis uh, in the country. Kwa hivyo nasema asante sana Mungu awabariki tugawanye chakula kwa sababu uh, kusema ukweli labda wengi wetu hapa wametembea kutoka mbali na ni vizuri wapate nafasi mapema warudi nyumbani waanze kupika chakula jamii yao ipate nafuu asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki